So in this question, we have to calculate the thickness of paint that's located on the wall. Now we've drawn a little schematic to represent the situation. We have the area of the wall that we've marked with A, and then we've given the paint some thickness. It's a little bit exaggerated looking, but our goal is to find that thickness nonetheless. Now, hopefully we all know that the volume of paint that would be used in this scenario is very simply equal to the cross-sectional area of the wall multiplied by the thickness of the wall. So this is the equation that we're going to be using and we need that thickness so it might be useful for us to solve this for t. And to do so we would simply divide both sides of the equation by the area a so that we cancel it out on the right hand side. Now we have volume divided by area and that's going to give us our thickness. So really all we need to do is divide those two quantities and they're both given in terms of meters. So volume in meters cubed, area in meters squared. Let's go ahead and simply divide the volume by the area. So there is the setup for the thickness. If we divide the two numbers, we get about 1.52 times 10 to the minus four. And then in terms of our unit, we're dividing meters to the third by meters to the two. Remember, when you divide exponential terms, you subtract their powers. So you would subtract three by two to get one. So you get meters to the power of one, which of course is just meters. So this would be the correct answer for the thickness. If your homework system prefers you to answer in terms of micrometers, then we would have to do a very simple conversion here. So in that event, let's just take our thickness, which is now in meters, and convert it into micrometers. There's a nice simple conversion that you probably learned about in this chapter. Hopefully we all know that one meter is 10 to the power of sixth micrometers. You could set it up that way. An alternative way of setting that up would be to say that one micrometer is 10 to the negative sixth meters. That would be an equivalent setup Either way, you'll get this in micrometers because the meters would cancel out. And when you punch that into your calculator, you should get 152 micrometers. So here is the answer in meters. Here is the answer in micrometers.